Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at a tool within Civil 3D that will assist us when creating our profiles. So when we're using Civil 3D, Civil 3D affords us a lot of tools to create profiles. Most of those are, are graphical or a combination of graphical and numerical. However, we also have the ability to create a profile from a file which can be of great assistance, especially if we were to plot out a profile like this and maybe lay something out by hand using triangles and then determining values for uh, PVI elevations and slopes and elevations and things like that. Once we have that data, being able to enter it into a Excel spreadsheet or a notepad file could be of uh, great value when it comes to creating it or recreating it here within Civil 3D. So. Um, the only trick to that is knowing what the format is, so let's take a quick look at that. In this particular demonstration, what I'm looking at is a model where I've got an existing horizontal alignment, I've got a surface, and then I've got a profile view that's showing the interaction of that alignment with the surface. What I would like to do now is lay in the proposed profile information. Once again, assuming that it, this had been printed and I've got a paper copy showing that numerical information. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Notepad. The only trick to this is we need to know the format, so I'm going to do it in Notepad right now. Could also be done in uh, Excel, could be done in Word, could be done in a number of different applications, but it needs to follow a particular format at the end of the day. So whichever method lets you reach the appropriate format, um, you know, go ahead and use that. In my case, we'll use Notepad. Basically what I'll do is put in uh, station followed by elevation, space delimited. So we'll say uh, we'll start at an elevation or a station of zero, elevation 694.15. I'll then go to my next station, we'll say 207.82, space uh, for my elevation next, 695.19. And then what I'm going to do at that station is I also have the ability, if I want to start adding vertical curve data, I could put in another parameter for that. So let's say that I've got a parameter, a vertical curve of 150 feet. Uh, vertical curves, when put in, are going to be looked at as symmetrical. There's not a mechanism that we can do asymmetrical vertical curves using a file. So keep that in mind. We'll then go to station 436.92, 689.42. Forty-six. This too will have a vertical curve of 150 feet. We'll then come down to 712.63, elevation 691.53. It too will have a vertical curve, and then that'll take us to the ending station here at 1240.60, elevation 682.29. All right, so as we create this file, the only caveats, once again, it's an ASCII file. It needs to be space delimited. It needs to have the uh, station followed by a space and then the elevation. Uh, if you'd like to put in a vertical curve, you could put a space with maybe the third parameter we'd put in here. Keep in mind that for it to be a vertical curve, it can't start or end with a vertical curve. It must be one of the uh, PVI stations in, uh, you know, internal to the, the, the uh, definition. Uh, we can't have any spaces at the beginning. Uh, we can't have any blank lines. If we have blank lines, it'll hit that and then end. If we have spaces at the beginning, it won't necessarily interpret uh, that correctly for the station. Uh, and the last item within the file must be the elevation for the last station. So if we keep those things in mind, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, save that. We'll say save as. I'm going to put that in my uh, Tuesday folder here. Let's see, that is right here. My Tuesday folder, we'll call this Tuesday for right now is my profile text, and we'll say save. I'll go ahead and close that. Once completed, uh, I'll be back in the Civil 3D here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to profile. We'll come down, and there is now an option to uh, create profile from file. It's actually I've been there for a number of years, probably one of the more underutilized features, but uh, can still be very helpful if the information we have, once again, is more in a uh, text or paper type format. So we'll go ahead and say create profile from file. We'll select Tuesday, which we just created. We'll go ahead and click open. I'm going to give it the name in this particular case. This is my proposed profile. Uh, it's going to align it with uh, First Street. If I had multiple 
alignments in this file, it would make me select that. In this particular case, I just had one, so it already knows. I'll then give it the styles for how it should be displayed. We'll say this should be displayed as design profile. We'll come down, I'll add the complete label set to this so we can see the information for the vertical curves. We'll click on OK, and it automatically brings that information in. So we can see in doing that, we've got our uh, PVI station elevation. Uh, we can see the information has been added for the vertical curves. And using the uh, annotation labels for the complete label set, we see all of that identified for us on the screen. All right, very, very helpful, uh, helpful tool. Once again, there are times when we have this in this type of format, so it's a great way to get started. Once getting started, I could always take and uh, select this information go into the geometry editor and then continue to refine it as if I had created it geometrically or through a combination of, of geometrics and numerics. All right, so I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.